Welcome. So we're going to talk today about Facebook covers, Facebook business profile pictures, and our Facebook page name. Okay, you guys, these three things, if I could say like you've got to nail it, this would be the thing you have to nail. Okay, and here's why. Okay, when people are just randomly, like they've got their phone and they're just scrolling through, right? They're just scrolling. Um, they look at your cover photo. They look at your profile picture. They look at the name of your page to see, do I want some more information? Okay, they're not looking for something to purchase in this first step. They're just like checking it out. They're looking for things um, that's going to educate, entertain, or kind of help them along their journey. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, you guys, I've given you a worksheet. All you have to do is ask for it below. Okay, so that you can um, go through and create your own. So you don't need to take notes. Just ask for the worksheet below. So let's talk about Facebook cover photos. Okay, I get asked this question all the time, and there's a little bit more in-depth training um, where I give you some more examples in um, the 1997 um, Facebook coaching. Okay, so that's $19.97 per month, um, and you can get a little bit more training and all the steps of what is your social media business strategy? What is that blueprint? Okay, so I take you through all of those steps. But let's talk about covers, okay? First thing I'm gonna tell you about a cover is that is your billboard, okay? That's your billboard. When people come, they're looking at that. And sometimes you guys, they're jacked up, okay? And um, the biggest thing I can tell you is always make sure on mobile that um, it fits, have somebody with an Android look at it, have somebody with an iPhone look at it. I don't know how many times I've looked at people's cover photos and they're cut off, the words are cut off. So just make sure that it's super clear on mobile, okay? Because 95% of your people are on mobile, are coming to you from mobile. Okay, so if you're a brick and mortar or you're a medical professional, so physician, chiropractor, massage therapist, anything like that, okay? I would love to see, if you have a physical location, I would love to see a video, a video cover. Okay, and in the membership group, there is, um, we can help with that. Okay, it's a little bit of a fee, but it'll take, it'll make you not go crazy trying to do it all, especially if you're not techie. Okay, but let me show you a really great example if you're a medical provider. Okay, so let me get on this one. So I love this profile picture this profile video. Okay, so let's say you needed heart surgery. Okay, you needed to have a heart procedure. If you were, if you lived in Lubbock, Texas, okay, and you pulled up their Facebook page where somebody said, oh my gosh, we had such a great experience. Um, this would automatically go on mobile. Okay, but let me do it from the very beginning so you guys can see this. So you can see here, like, you feel like you're walking in. So let's watch it from the beginning right quick. You see the front of their building, right? You see the waiting room. You feel like you know when you're checking in who you're talking to. You can see the procedure room. So your anxiety is already down. You can see, you know, somebody getting stuff ready. You can see here's the chairs in the waiting room. And here's what this does. Okay, this helps um, whether you're a brick and mortar. So if you're a brick and mortar and you're selling like home goods or any sort of like your restaurant or anything like that, helping them one see the front and know where to park, where to come in, what it looks like inside, because it just takes some of that anxiety away. Okay, same thing for you medical professionals. It just takes some of that anxiety away. So they feel more comfortable. They've seen some of that staff, okay? So it just makes them feel more like, oh, I can trust you, okay? And that's what we're after. Like that's the biggest reason why people purchase is because they trust you, okay? They like you and they trust you. Okay, so that's a great example for brick and mortar, medical providers, okay? And again, if you're in the monthly coaching, that's only $19.97. Come on, y'all. 
um, there's so many videos. We walk, I walk you through every single step. And you get a weekly Q&A time with me. So definitely check that out. But let's talk about um, what if you're not a brick and mortar? What if you're a blogger? What if um, you sell a product, but you're selling it online? What if you sell a service? Okay, so here's a page. Go back here. Find this right quick, yeah. Okay, so here's a page for essential oils. And um, one of the things you guys will see is the name is very, very specific. Okay, it's women over 40 using essential oils. Okay, so what is that page geared towards? Women over 40. So the recipes, the interaction, the discussion, the community, it's all about the things that women over 40, and there's no recipes on there for men, there's no um, anything about pregnancy or, um, you know, that time of the month for the most part. Okay, but you can see here, it's a picture of a woman, pretty well, kind of 40 or a little bit above, right? Um, and then I used three words, essential oil recipes. Okay, so if somebody's driving down the highway, they're on their, they're on their Facebook, and they're scrolling through, and they're like, oh, I'm over 40. Oh, I love my essential oils. Man, I love recipes, too. So they know that if they stop here, okay, they're going to be able to get more things to look at, more things, more recipes. Okay, so this is a good cover. Um, and this is a great place where, like, in the kitchen, you can put in your cover photo and get some, you know, get some guidance from me on that. Okay, there's a thread on there about that. So definitely, like, you guys, you've got to nail this. Okay, but let's talk about names right quick. Okay, if your name of your business, like let's go back to Lubbockart Hospital. Okay, they've got their name right there. So if you're a brick and mortar or you've got, um, put your name there, okay? Maybe your medical practice, put your name there. Okay, but if you are, like the essential oil page, you're going to really target that, okay? Here's what you don't want to do. You don't want it to be your name. Nobody knows you, okay? I know sometimes you look, especially you guys who are coaches, things like that. You look at people who maybe they've got their name on there. If you really look at their engagement, they're struggling, okay? Um, many times they struggle. Okay, because people don't always know who they are or the value that they provide. Okay, so make sure your name's super clear. Profile picture. Okay, um, let me kind of give you best practice. Okay, and there's always like there's always exceptions to this rule. Best practice. Okay, if you're a solo entrepreneur. Okay, so you're the one selling things. You're the one um doing it all okay then i want it to be a picture just of you okay anyway it needs to be a picture that it doesn't look like your five-year-old took it while you just got out of the pool okay it needs to be again we're after that value that like and that trust okay if you're looking at cray cray with short shorts and all of that if that's not your ideal people you're really kind of lowering that value, that like, that trust, okay? You guys, you can literally take your phone and just do a selfie, okay? Do a selfie. Get good light, do a selfie. You don't ha it doesn't have to be, like, go hire somebody. You don't have to do that. Um, if you're a brick and mortar, okay, you want people to know, like, this is my staff. This is who we are. Same thing with a medical provider. Now, if you're solo, I know a lot of chiropractors, um, massage therapists, like there isn't anybody else in there. Then just put a picture of you. Okay, I'm gonna say this and you're gonna hear it all the time in my coaching. People do not purchase 